I heard you had to leave in a hurry. It's never easy these days. So what are you going to do? We have unfinished business. We have to go back to where it all started. Lucky us. One thing's for sure. It's going to be a hell of a reunion. Still fits. Family. Back together again. You got fat. Welcome back everyone, it's Charlie. This is going to be my new Black Widow trailer video for Taskmaster. Everyone wondering who that character is, Red Hulk in Thunderbolts post Avengers Endgame. So we'll break it all down. There's a whole bunch of Easter eggs. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get everything. We're doing a Marvel giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave your best theory about who Taskmaster is on the video. What I'll do is I'll start with the Taskmaster stuff, then I'll talk about Thunderbolts, post credit scenes, and Red Hulk stuff in the future of the MCU. When I released my last big Black Widow trailer video, there were a lot of theories that you guys had about who Taskmaster was, but they're pretty clear on the timeline of Taskmaster during this trailer. We see him use a bow just like Hawkeye, a lot of people wondering if maybe he's going to secretly be Hawkeye. I don't think that's the case. You have to remember that character's big thing is stealing other people's moves, literally taking their moves and copying them. So the reason why he's so good with a bow is probably because he fought Hawkeye sometime in the past and stole his moves. The big twist theory that everyone has about Taskmaster is that it'll wind up being someone who was part of Black Widow's alternative family when she was part of the Red Room program, her family of the past. The other early big theory people had is that Taskmaster will wind up being a female character instead of a male like the comics. So in the comics, Taskmaster is a man. He's a completely separate character that has no real connection with the Avengers, winds up becoming something of a mercenary, then turns into an Avengers villain for a long time. But addressing the Taskmaster as female theory, using this scene at the end of the movie with Taskmaster versus Red Guardian as an example, you see them bum rushing each other. So look at David Harbour, giant bear-like Russian version of Captain America. He's sort of like the Dragon Ball fusion of the thick version of Thor in Captain America. Make all the jokes you want about that. But in real life, David Harbour is six foot three, so he's huge, but as they joke, he got fat. Meaning back in the 90s, probably when he was in his prime, he was way more cut like Captain America. You look at this scene, Taskmaster is way, way slimmer, and the neck and shoulder armor that they're wearing is bigger to obscure their upper body shape, and it does make it harder to tell if it really is a man or a woman. They do that on purpose, so you can't easily guess who the character is. When I posted my last big trailer video, there were people that thought the Taskmaster might be Rachel Weisz's character because you don't really see her during a large portion of the trailer. But think about it this way. They're all standing here at Comic-Con next to each other. She's only five foot six. David Harbour standing next to her, sort of kissing the top of her head here. She's also wearing heels in this too. So barefoot standing next to each other, she's tiny compared to David Harbour. So when Taskmaster and Red Guardian are fighting inside this evil version of the Avengers base in Siberia, Russia, I'm assuming that this is where the Red Room program is that they're trying to destroy. Both of them are equally hunched down as they wind up for huge punches, and Taskmaster isn't that much shorter than David Harbour, implying that it's someone who's way, way taller in real life than Rachel Weisz. So if it is a female character, it'd be a really, really tall female character. The other problem is, is you have to look at the other footage of Taskmaster during the trailer. So there's the scene of Taskmaster chasing down Black Widow and Yelena Belova in Budapest in their version of present day post-Civil War. He pulls the bow out, he's driving that giant tank. All the stuff with them having their family meal together in the white uniforms with David Harbour joking about his costume still fitting. Look, it still fits, but look how fat you got. That's also happening in the present day after she sort of rounds the team up, and that starts with her in Budapest going to pick up Yelena Belova. They put those white suits on, then you see them at the end of the trailer trying to blow up this version of the Red Room program in Siberia, Russia. During that is where you see Red Guardian fighting Taskmaster, so it wouldn't be possible for Rachel Weisz's character to be the Taskmaster character. 
it would have to be somebody completely different that appears nowhere in the trailer footage. That doesn't mean that it's not somebody that we don't already know and it's going to be some big twist. It just means that Taskmaster isn't any of the other characters that you see during the trailer. There were people also asking if Taskmaster was going to be Hawkeye. The reason why Taskmaster can't be Hawkeye is because this scene of him in the tank is after the events of Civil War and Hawkeye was on his farm with his family for that entire period, post-Civil War, right up until the snap at the end of Avengers Infinity War. That's when he took the mantle of Ronin and went on that rampage going after all the criminals that survived the snap. I do think that Hawkeye has a cameo in the movie, but I think it's a further flashback to Budapest before the events of Iron Man 2, when he was technically sent to kill her, but instead shows her mercy, offers her a better option, joins S.H.I.E.L.D. and gets some of that red off your ledger. That's a moment that they reference right before she sacrifices herself during Avengers Endgame, when they have that conversation about not judging someone based on their past mistakes. Hawkeye was talking about himself, but Black Widow says, you didn't either, talking about their time in Budapest, which is presumably a further flashback before Iron Man 2. Early guesses there'll be a moment at some point at the end of the film, either a mid credit scene where Nick Fury shows up and then gives her her first mission, which is to spy on Iron Man during Iron Man 2. But talking about Thunderbolt Ross, Red Hulk, Thunderbolt set up in the new version of Black Widow, Yelena Belova. You all have your post credit scene theories. This movie is a Marvel Phase 4 movie, meaning that at some point during the movie, probably the post credit scene, there'll be a moment that addresses what's going on in the future post Avengers Endgame. Because that's happening in 2023, and most of this movie takes place in the past, post-Civil War. So at some point, they will have to jump back and connect things to what's going on in present day. Marvel and Kevin Feige have said several times in the past they've discussed doing Thunderbolts at some point. They never really said whether it would be a series on Disney Plus or if it'd be a big movie. But if you haven't read those comics, it's basically Marvel's version of a Suicide Squad team. A bunch of the worst comic book villains that get locked up, the Thunderbolt Ross then offers an option. We'll wipe your criminal history if you help us out on this mission that will probably wind up killing you. And if you die, it's no big sweat to us because you're criminals. Over the past couple of years, they've accumulated a number of villains who were on that comic book version of the team, Baron Zemo being one of the former leaders, and he's going to be showing up during Falcon and Winter Soldier next year. This time next year, we'll actually be watching those Falcon and Winter Soldier episodes. We already have Thunderbolt Ross. We know that he survived the snap, so he's alive in present day post-Avengers Endgame. He's the one that originally created the team. That's why it's called Thunderbolts. Early theory is, is that Black Widow is able to save Yelena Belova at the end of the movie, but after the events of Avengers Endgame, Black Widow, as we know her, Natasha, is dead. And Thunderbolt Ross is left with a hole in his roster of agents who are good at spycraft, covert ops, things that Black Widow used to do for him. So the idea is that Yelena Belova survives into post-Endgame present day, and Thunderbolt Ross makes her an offer she can't refuse in a twist on a Nick Fury Iron Man post credit scene. He came to recruit Iron Man for the Avengers and start setting that up at the beginning of Phase 1. So because this is the beginning of Phase 4, wouldn't it be a great twist if Thunderbolt Ross has a twist on that moment setting up a Thunderbolts project in the future of Phase 4 and Phase 5? Hopefully they don't kill Taskmaster off too and that person can wind up joining the Thunderbolts team in the future. But addressing the Red Hulk of it all, so if you didn't see it, I did a video about the Red Hulk deleted scene from Avengers Endgame. Marvel and the writers for Avengers Endgame originally planned to turn the Bruce Banner Hulk into Red Hulk during Endgame. No joke, it's just as crazy as it sounds. What they were going to do is, the writers said, is that the cosmic stresses on his body would have turned him red while he was trying to snap the Nano Infinity Gauntlet, and that was going to be their MCU version of Red Hulk. Ultimately, they cut that out of the movie because they decided it would have been too confusing, just like they didn't do Grey Hulk during Avengers Age of Ultron like they originally planned to, saving those things, those big twists for Hulk characters for future movies. So if there's a future for the Thunderbolts inside the MCU, and it's a twist on the passing of torches, like passing the torch of Black Widow to the Yelena Belova Black Widow, and William Hurt himself is a huge Hulk comic book fan. He said that was his main reason for signing his original contract with Marvel to be Thunderbolt Ross of the MCU. So everyone, let me know in the comments, do you want them to do Red Hulk at some point, and do you want them to do a Thunderbolts project? There's a whole bunch of stuff coming up, so as long as you have alerts enabled for my channel, you should see the videos when I post them, but leave all your Marvel video requests in the comments below. Everyone, click here for my last really big Black Widow trailer video, and click here for my brand new Mandalorian Episode 6 video. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.